Oh shit. We're doing something fun today. We are tasting Lay's chips from around the world. So I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. I bought twenty-five different flavors from all over the world of Lay's chips. I have a giant box of chips to the right of me right now. And we're going to taste them all, and then we're going to rank them. So I have prepared a small thing here. <laughs> I've prepared a small thing here, a little tier list that we're going to be following. Well, okay, so here's the Lay's, and here's the tier list. So we're going to taste one by one. We're going to go one by one. And then we're going to say S tier. S tier is going to be like, it was godly. It was a godly flavor. Like, I would chalk up S tier to be like Cool Ranch Doritos. Like, that's like S tier. Like, it, the second it gets put in my mouth, I'm like, <sighs> like that. And then A tier is really fucking good. It's a really good chip. I would eat it. It's not like the like most amazing thing in the world, but it's like, it's a good fucking chip. I would buy it. I would eat it. B um it's okay it's okay maybe if this was the only chip option at subway out of all the chips i would get it but it's not something that i would like gobble up you know i wouldn't eat a whole bag of it a whole big bag of it c tier mm, not loving it I'm not loving it it's very it's either very bland flavor or it's like not a flavor it's like not something i could even eat like a me a medium-sized bag of by myself D tier is just kind of gross. Like, I wouldn't ever, like, I would not have a little snack size bag of it ever. And then F tier, I'm spitting it out. F tier is, it's so disgusting that I just spit it out. All right. I think we can get started. Let's grab the first one. Okay. The first one I picked up was. Oh, this is a good one to start with. Let's click on it. Uh, it opens up Photoshop when I do that. Okay, fair enough. Well, this one. This one's the one. Oh, you know what? That's what we can do. There we go. That's what we'll do. Roasted fish flavor is the first one I picked up. This is a fun one. This is a fun one. Um, it's really cool. The bag is very metallic. The picture doesn't do it justice. The bag looks very metallic. The picture of the fish right here... It's actually really appetizing looking. It looks like it'd be really spicy, um, but it looks really flavorful. Let's take a look at this. I, I can't tell where this is from. I think it's Japan. I think it's Japanese. I think it's Japanese. Um, no, ooh, China? Okay, well, it was packaged in China, so it might be Chinese. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just stop, let's stop fidgeting around and, and give this, this bad boy a taste. Okay, the bag is really hard to open. Hold on. <laughs> It's really hard. Oh, there it goes. Oh, okay. I actually broke the bag a little bit. Let's give it a little smell. Ooh. I wouldn't say that smells like fish. It kind of smells like dried fish flakes. Like if you've ever smelled or had dried fish flakes, flakes that's what it smells like. All right. Let's take out a chip. I want a chip that has a lot of flavoring on it. I want a complete chip, though. Can I not have both? Okay, here's one. It's very thick. It's a very thick chip. Let's feel that crackle. Oh, yeah. It's very, very thick. Let me try it. Try it. Hmm. Hmm. Funny enough, the chip, like, melted a little bit in my mouth. It's spicy. There's a little bit, a little tiny bit of spice. I'm going to have another one. I don't mind it. It tastes a little bit like, like fish. Like those, like, fish flakes. There's fish flakes. Let me see if I can look it up. Let me taste it again. Yeah, like, the, it's, like, melting in my mouth. It's, like, not much to chew on it because it just, as soon as it hits my tongue, it starts melting in my mouth. I don't mind that at all. Dried fish flakes. And, the, uh, you know, I might have had this when I was in Japan. I might have had this when I was a little girl in Japan. 
This is what this is the flavor it reminds me of. These dried fish fish, fish flakes. If you've ever had this before, I have had this before. But if you've ever had this before, that's what it tastes like. I don't mind that at all, actually. Damn. I like the hint of spice. I like the hint of spice. I don't know that I would want. I, I think I could eat this whole bag of it. And then this is like a a snack sized bag. I think if I was like super hungry and I wanted a snack, I could eat, eat this whole bag. It's not out of this world flavor, but it's it's a, it's a good chip. I really I pretty much what really saves it. Not even the flavor; it's the spice that really saves it. I don't mind it. Let's go ahead and put this in a B. I'm gonna I'm gonna score this as a B. So it is this one. We're gonna put this in B tier. I don't mind that. It wasn't that bad. I'm gonna keep that bag. I have two boxes, by the way. One is the tasty box where I'm gonna like share the contents of it with my friends and my boyfriend. And one's the nasty box where it's literally a trash can. So this one is a B tier. I did not mind that fucking chip. Hell yes. We need like sound effects. We need sound effects. Let's see. We're gonna look at some. We're gonna look up some sound effects. My instant. This is this is where I get the sound effects. So we need like a cheer. Cheering sound effect. There we go. So that's the sound effect we're gonna do for, uh, how do I put them on a soundboard? Oh, I don't wanna sign in. Okay, so that's the cheering sound effect. And then we need boo. We need a boo sound effect. These are not boos. Oh, there it goes. What the fuck? Okay, that, there we go. That's our booing sound effect. Okay, so we'll do the cheering sound effect for delicious foods, for delicious chips, and we're gonna do the booing sound effect for bad foods. Okay. All right, all right, let me put, let me put these, let me get these ready. Let me get these ready to go. You know, I, I, I need these to be ready to go. Here we go. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. All right, next chip, next chip. Next chip. All right, this next one is called Grills Garukt. Fume flavor. I don't know where this is from. Let me see if we can find where this is from. Uh, Lay's Grills Garukt. And then it's Fume. I don't, I don't know where this is from. Let me see if we can figure, figure this out. Um, okay. Let's see if I can find out what this is. See, judging by the company taste i don't want to 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 ruin it i don't want to ruin it i wish i knew what, what this was from origin maybe i don't know even know what language this is origin origin okay oh is it asian i don't think it is i don't think this is asian oh oh see okay i'm it looks like oh man german german maybe Maybe, let's see, translate. Gerukt. What is this? It is Dutch. Smoked, okay, Gerukt. Fume. It's smoked something. Maybe it's just smoked. Okay, so it's Dutch, it's Dutch, okay. All right, let's give it a try, let's give it a try. Let's open the bag. Let's open the bag, let's give it a smell. Woo, that is, whoa, okay, that was strong. Um, it smells like, oh mm, God, Jesus, that is not a good smell. Um, it smells like, doesn't smell smoked. It smells pungent, like cheese, like a cheese. Mm, God, that is not a, a pleasant smell. It smells a like a hint of barbecue. It's this one. It's this one. A hint of barbecue, maybe. Oh man, I'm just, I'm gonna need, I'm, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna, let's, let's pick one out, let's pick one out, let's see, we're gonna crack it up. Okay, it's, it's got the consistency of like a Cheeto. It's very light and airy, I feel like this is gonna melt in my mouth as soon as it hits my tongue. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was right, melted in my mouth. It's salty. A little fishy even. It's a little fishy. It's a little fishy. It's a very, very, very strong flavor. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know if I like that. 
it just tastes like it tastes fishier than the last one did and the last one's flavor was like smoked fish i think this is gonna be a no for me that tastes like fish the aftertaste is yeah equally strong Ugh. i don't know if i like that i don't think i do i don't think i do okay that's gonna be i couldn't even finish the bag um i don't think it's so disgusting i'd spit it out but i it was not good i'm gonna put that a d i think f is like so disgusting like it, i just it's, i spit it out as soon as, it hit, as soon as it hit my tongue i don't think any of these are gonna be an f because i have a pretty strong palate i have a pretty strong uh palate where things don't really gross me out too much um unless it's got a bad texture mm. just needs to cleanse my cleanse my palate a little bit with the truly because that was a very strong flavor okay I'm gonna save this one for last because it's like a mystery flavor. I'm actually gonna throw that in the trash. Ugh, that was not a good flavor. Okay, the next one, the next chip, the next chip is, is, is Spicy Lobster. I'm really excited about this one. It's funny, like looking at the bag, you definitely see a lobster. I see a basil leaf, I see a tomato. So those are probably like Italian spices. Is this the lobster? um looking at the chips on the bag they look like pringles like they're very thick and uniform chips they don't like and, and honestly if you know pringles pr pringles aren't aren't really like chips in the way that lays are chips because lays are potatoes that are sliced in thin slices whereas um pringles are like mashed potatoes shaped in a shape and then fried i think i'm pretty sure so and i and it's like a uniform so that's what i'm thinking um i don't know what country this is i, I cannot tell it might be malaysia it might be malaysia um no oh, it's thailand it's thailand these are thai got it all right let's stop pussyfooting around and give it a try let's give it a smell <laughs> okay that's a strong smell a very distinct smell it really does remind me of um pringles i'm looking at the chips they look like pringles like these are pretty uniform looking chips which is very odd uh, for lays i'm gonna pull out a chip they look like fucking pringles let's see the snap breaking it they're very crisp chips let's try them wow that's sweet it's very sweet I think I taste the basil, actually. I, I, those Italian spices are really coming through. Let me try another one. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are good. Bitch, hold up. These are, these are snackable. Hold up. There's like a, a very subtle spice. It's so subtle. It's even more subtle than even the roasted fish was. It's pepperier though, because when I swallow the chip, I actually feel the spice deeper in my throat. So it's it's definitely a pepperier. It's like a, it's a pepper. It's a pepper spice. Um, that is that's good. I don't love the smell. I don't love the smell, but I like the flavor, and it really does kind of taste like shellfish. Like I I could taste like crab. I don't know if I specifically taste lobster, but I taste crab. I taste I taste shellfish. This was very good. I will say. I will say the size of the bag they gave me the amount of chips is the least so far they, like all the bags have been around the same size and this they gave me like like they filled up the bag maybe like 20 25 percent of the way of chips which is kind of bullshit um even like i even i only ate three chips and i'm like folding the bag up now and it's so tiny it's like i ate half the bag but um that'd be my only complaint but in terms of flavors I could eat this. I could eat this whole bag. I could eat this whole bag. I would. I would. I would. Yeah. I would put this in an A tier. That's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. Damn. Spicy lobster. Noted. All right, Thailand. I'm gonna put that in the good pile. All right. Next one. Next one is salted egg. Huh. Okay. Okay. So, looking at the bag, I think this is also from Thailand because the logo looks the same um there there's an image oh, let's look at it let me look at it so i show you guys what i'm looking at 
Where? Which one is it? Which one is it? There it is. Salted egg. This is it. So it's like kind of the same logo. That's why I think it's also Thailand. Um, it's funny the pet. This this image looks a lot more yellow than the actual bag. Yeah, the actual bag is just like is actually like a pleasant peach color. It's very pretty. It's very pe pretty like light orange peachy color. Um, but how you see how red you're seeing this this egg? You're not mistaken by seeing that. That's a very red yolk. So I'm I'm wondering what kind of egg it is because it's very red. It's a very red egg yolk. Um, it feels like there's more in this bag. If this bag is about the same size as the other one and it feels like there's more uh, chips in it. So let's open it up, give it a smell. It smells very potato-y. It just, it just smells like potato chips and I don't smell anything that smells like egg. Um, or salt, for that matter. I forgot about our uh, our little buttons here. I forget. Let me smell. All right, let me let me let me take one of the chips out. Okay, so like the last one, the chips had a consistency of like Pringles. This one goes. It went back to uh, potato chips. Like they're potatoes. There's potato slices, which is interesting because they're both the same brand. They're both the, or they're both the same country. So it's not a distinctly Thailand thing that those chips were like Pringles. These are. That th those chips just were specifically like Pringles. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a taste. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. It's weirdly pickled the tasting. It's sweet. It's a sweet taste. I taste egg. I taste egg. I feel like I taste like what they tried to say is was egg, but it. The, the the potato flavor comes through a lot more. It just tastes like a very sweet potato chip. Oh, so let me have, have another one. It's like a much sweeter taste than, there's no spice to it. There's no spice to it like the last one. Um, and it's a little sweet. And I feel like what made this such a pleasant flavor was that that spice that came with it. But because this is just a sweet potato chip, I feel like I wouldn't be able to eat very many of these. So I'm gonna put this on C tier because it says not taste bad, but it's it's just not good enough that I would wanna eat this whole bag. I wouldn't eat this whole bag. Yeah. And the fla the flavor is isn't isn't pronounced enough to even put it in B tier. It just tastes like a sweet potato chip, and I think we've got those here in the States. So yeah. Not bad, but I wouldn't I wouldn't have that again. I'm gonna put it in the okay pile because it was not disgusting. Okay. Next one. The next one is sweet basil. Yes, nope, not that one. This one. Nope, not that one. Yes, that one. Sweet basil. This is the next one. It's also from Thailand. It's also from Thailand. Um, I think this one's gonna be spicy. It's got a picture of uh, peppers on it. These are ruffle chips too, which is gonna be interesting. That's gonna be interesting. Um, yeah, honestly, this feels like it's got the most chips in it thus far, like from this from this brand. I'm not even trying to pick all the all the fucking Thailand ones. They're just like on top, I guess. They're at the top of the box. So um, yeah, let's, let's crack this bad boy open. Okay. Ooh, I do not like that smell. Oh! Oh, I do not like that smell. Holy shit. Ugh. It's very, I don't know. I don't like it because it's so strong. It's not like it smells disgusting. It's just, it's like, these are these are sweet basil chips. You open the bag, you smell it, it's like basil. It's like fucking basil. Like, holy shit, basil, bitch. Like, holy shit. Oh, Lord. I got these from, uh, so I got these from two different websites. Uh, B, I got, also, hello, B, hello. Uh, the first website was, like, called Wee, and it's, like, a W-E-E-E, -E -E, and it's, like, an Asian food w website, um, and that's where I got all the Asian ones, like, the ones from Thailand and China and stuff, and then I got the other half from a Dutch website. It's called Dutch Pat or something like that, 
Um, but yeah, both of the, both of these both came out of the, outside the country. Um, and the Asian one, the, the Wii one actually came faster. The Dutch plat one actually came today. That's the reason why I even wanted to do this today. Because <laughs> I was like, oh my god, they're all here, we're doing this. I am not a fan of the smell. It's, it's just too strong. Let me, let me, let me pick out a chip. Let me pick out a chip. I feel like this is gonna be really overwhelming, an overwhelming chip. I mean, the chip looks nice. It's definitely cut from a potato. It's not like the Pringles type of chip like we saw with the, the spicy lobster. Let's have a taste. Hmm. It tastes better than it smells. I like the spice. I love that the spice is not overwhelming. It's very sweet. They were right, this sweet basil. The, fl the flavor is actually really quite lovely. Wow. The, it just doesn't smell very good. <laughs> it smells very overly like basil, but it's, wow, that is a play. This is definitely the spiciest chip we've had to so far. It's, it's spicier than spicy lobster and the roasted fish, but it's, it's really fucking pleasant. Just don't like how it smells. It smells too floral. It's too, it's too floral. It's like if you, if you took a handful of basil, mushed it up in your hands, and then just go, it just went this <laughs> into your nose. That's what, you, <laughs> that's what this bag smells like, but it's not bad. We have another one. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a good fucking chip. That is a good chip. I think I would rate it higher than the spicy lobster. I think this might be S tier. Holy shit. Be good. Be <laughs> it's okay. Sinner's not here yet. Sinner's not here to bonk anybody yet. So you're, you're safe for now. I did not mind that chip. I think that might be S tier. Holy shit. That was a really good chip. The spice level is really pleasant. Like, I really love how... It's like just it's just at the it's at the back of the palate. It's like not in your face about the spice. Which there are a few in here that are like, like gonna be in your face about the spice. So I have my water here to help me out with that. But that was a pleasant surprise. That was a pleasant surprise. I really liked that. We're gonna do this again with Kit Kats. I'm gonna do um, next month. I'm gonna buy as many Kit Kats from around the, around the world as I possibly can. I know Japan has like a lot of weight, a lot of crazy flavors. All right, our next one. Oh God, I'm scared. Okay. Uh, she. Our next one is garlic, roasted garlic oyster flavor. Not looking forward to this. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. I like oysters, but this flavor is like odd for chips. Um, I see peppers in there. I think this one's going to be spicy. Honestly, if you look really closely in there, that's like a lot of fucking garlic. This is a fuck ton of garlic. I think this is from China, by the way. I think this is Chinese. I think it's Chinese. Um, that is a lot of fucking garlic. Okay. I feel like as soon as I open this bag, it's the smell is just going to go right into my fucking face. Like, it's going to be like, garlic! Like, ooh. It's a bigger bag, but it's got the chip. It's You can tell that it's only like 50% full because you know how they do with chips. They like fill it up with air <laughs> instead of chips. Mm. Oh hell yes! No, yeah, the the Kit Kats are gonna be good. I, 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 I'm excited. I'm excited. They have some weird fucking flavors and for Kit Kat. Right, let's smell, let's smell it. That is garlicky, and it's fishy too. It's a fishy smell. It's very garlicky. The garlic is like really there. It's actually not as overwhelming as I thought it was gonna be though. I'll say that the basil one that we just tasted had a, a worse, more pungent smell than this. This is like an okay smell. I'm going to take a sip of my drink, reset my palate a little bit. Mm. But yeah, it's not, it's, I don't know. It's not pleasant. I'm not going to say that this is a good smell, but it's not as overwhelmingly bad as the last one. Let's grab a chip. Let's try it. Okay. It's, it's the sliced type of chip. It's not the Pringles kind. I wonder if that's going to be, if that uh, roasted uh, fish one is going to be the only, or not even the fish one, is the spicy lobster. I wonder if that spicy lobster one is going to be the only Pringles style chip we have. All right, I'm going to go ahead and taste it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't taste no fucking oyster. That's just garlic. That's just a garlic chip. There's not, there's nan one oyster in this, in this bag. It's just a garlic chip. It's not bad. I don't know. It's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. The smell of is not good, but it's, you know, it's, it's flavor is just not bad. Hold up. Mm -hmm. It's very sweet. 
It's a sweet chip and it just tastes like tastes like garlic. All right, shit, it's not bad. I'm gonna. It's a little too sweet, such that I wouldn't want to eat this whole bag. But the flavor is good. I'm gonna put this on B tier. It's a good flavor. Shit, that ain't bad. Damn. I kind of, I wouldn't mind it being spicier, but I don't know if you can do that with a like, garlic flavor. It's kind of interesting. I thought it was going to be spicy because the image, look at the image. It's got peppers. These are little, like, pepper slices. Like, actual, like, how, like jala not jalapeno peppers, but they're peppers. So I was really shocked at how not spicy it was. I have a feeling that we're eating all of the sweet ones now and all the spicy ones are all going to be later. It's not a bad fucking flavor at all. I, you know, I'm going to put that in the good box because it really is quite a good flavor, but it's just... A little too sweet for me personally to eat the whole bag. All right, next one. Mm -hmm. Lay's sensations, Mexican peppers and cream. This this looks promising as fuck. I, this might actually be English. It's not English. It's not English. It's not English. I don't know what this language is. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can uh, identify this language. Um. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a. Uh, sentence that I see on the back because this is not English which is interesting because the the front of the bag the front of the bag is English but the back of the bag is not split eat let's find out what this is it's Dutch it's still Dutch okay so this is also Dutch got it it's interesting because the the front of the bag is in English why would they do that why would they make the front of the bag English and then the back of the baggage all in Dutch that makes no sense to me Mexican peppers and cream because then it's just peppers and cream. All right. That's what I that's my that's my prediction is that it's just going to taste like spicy crema, which is probably going to be good because crema is good and Mexican peppers are good. That's my hope. I hope I don't know. Let's smell it. Let's see. Ooh, let's open the bag and smell it. Holy shit. That smells spicy. Honestly, it really doesn't smell spicy. You know what it smells like? It smells like uh, sour cream and onion chips. It smells like sour cream and onion chips. That doesn't smell spicy in any way. It smells exactly like sour cream and onion chips. That's crazy. And I love sour cream and onion chips, so now I'm excited. But I'm a little bit weirded out because that's a weird, that's not the same thing as, <laughs> as jalapenos. And, and, and oh, do you think, oh, it might be sour cream. Now that I'm looking closer at it, there's like this cream is like really white. It's actually not crema, I don't think. Well, crema is, is white, I think. I think it's white. All right, I'm going to just taste this. It smells like a sour cream and onion chip. Okay, let's go. Mm. B, you were spot on. It tastes like sour cream. That's sour cream. You were spot on. There's not a hint of pepper. There is not even a tiny hint of pepper. These are sour cream chips. It's good. It's nice because they're very thick. The other... Lay's chips, historically, and even the rest of these chips that we've had so far, are very thin. These are very thick chips, and it's, like, pleasant. It's a pleasant thickness with the flavor. Like, honestly, if they were too thin, I think the flavor would be too strong. But because they're so thick, the sour cream flavor is really pleasant. I do not mind this. <laughs> well, does it... What, I, the, the, the Dutch had, like, a channel into India, right? I would be like, they should have all the spices, right? Because, like, the Dutch India, like, they, they colonized the shit out of India. And India has spices. This was a really good chip. It's a sour cream chip. It's no peppers, though. Honestly, I kind of want to deduct them for that. This is a good chip. I would eat, I would, I would put this on A tier. Um, but I want to deduct them a little bit because there's no spice to it. There's no spice. Let me actually taste it again. I might actually deduct it anyway. Let me see Mm-hmm. It's a really good chip. I'm keeping it in A tier. It's a really tasty chip. I'm keeping this one. I'm like, I'm keep this one out. We're gonna be like munching on this one like during the stream because this is a really good fucking chip. I'm really shocked. I am so shocked. Well, shit, Dutch. All right, Dutch. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Oh, that tracks. That tracks, yep, yep, the spices and all the good shit. They held that shit for the rich and the wealthy and the royal royalty. And chips, I guess, are a peasant food. So, of course, they wouldn't have the spices. <laughs> that was a good chip. I would buy that shit again. I'm not 
actually that might be S tier. I'm putting that in S tier. That is a good fucking chip. Holy shit. I'll eat the fuck out of that thing. Okay. All right. Next one is barbecue prick. Which I think might be pork. Let's see. Uh Thai to English. Prick. I don't know. Okay, maybe not. I okay. I don't know what that is. It says barbecue prick. There is not an image of a dick on it. It's this one. Uh let's find it. <laughs> Excuse me, it's this one. That's not an image of a penis, so I, it's, I don't think it's actual barbecue prick. Um, <laughs> but I think it might be barbecue pork. It looks very spicy. It looks super spicy. Um, it's got a big red X on it. You see, like, it's got max. Like, I think this is going to be spicy as shit. I've got my water on standby. All right, let's open this guy. Let's open this guy and see what's up. Ooh, shit. Ooh, that already, the smell already is jumping out at me. It's very oily. I'm looking in the bag. There's like oil coating the fucking sides of this bag. Ooh, that smells super spicy. Ooh, that smells really spicy. It's a good smell. It's very, it's a very floral, floral spice. It's very smoked. I can smell the smoke. It smells smoked. It smells smoked. It really does smell like something smoked. Um, let's, let's take out a chip. They're, they're ruffles. They're ruffle chips. Oh, I'm nervous. I hope this isn't too spicy. Okay. Bottoms up. Mmm. 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 Okay. The spicy, the spice is at the front of the palate, but it's sweet. It's sweet and very smoky. Wow, they, they really have put a lot of smoke into this. Like, I'm pretty surprised because, wow. The spice is, is at the front of the palate, but if you, it is definitely peppery because you swallow it, you feel it in your throat. But it's not overwhelming. I wouldn't put this anywhere near hot Cheetos. It's not hot, as hot as hot Cheetos would be, or Takis or anything like that. That's really nice. Let me have that again. It actually tastes a little bit like fish, like the other fish flavors that we've had so far tonight. It's very, and like you can see it on the, on the chip, like the, the, the spices, you know, normally chips, it's like a powder and it's all uniform. You can actually see little bits, little specks of spice on the chip. That's pretty awesome. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very sweet. Sweet and spicy. This is a good chip. Holy shit. Oh my God, this might be another S tier. I'm going to say it's not S tier because it's got a bit of an aftertaste that isn't super pleasant but the mouthfeel the the the, the mouthfeel at the in the front of the palate is really really nice this is a nice chip that's a good chip that's a good chip it's like it's like the lays barbecue chips from from the u.s but but spicy <laughs> but spicy um they're like that kind of sweet and that level of sweetness but spicy it's a really nice spice too it's not an overwhelming it lingers it's be it's but it's fucking spicy it's lingering but it's not overwhelming i like that it's a good chip that's a good chip. I've been, I've been really pleasantly surprised with these chips so far. There's only been one that was disgusting, and like the rest have been like passable to delicious. So that's pretty awesome. That was a really spicy chip, though. It's really lingering. Hold on. Ooh, it's not a bad spice. You know how? Because like for me, I don't like super spicy things that are like overly spicy. So I generally can't eat a whole bag of like hot Cheetos because it's just too fucking spicy. My mouth hurts too much. Whereas this one, I think I could eat a whole bag and my mouth wouldn't hurt too bad. It would be, it's hot, it's hot, and there's a burn there, and it's, it's a lingering burn, um, but it's not like hot Cheetos. It's not like in your face about the spice like hot Cheetos would be. That's a good chip. I like that chip. I like that fucking chip. All right, let's go. Let's get another one. Next one, oven-baked crunchy biscuits, and these look French. Oh, no, I think they actually might be American, maybe. All right, let's see. It's this one. We're doing the tomato and spring onion one. This, is this American? Have you seen this before, B? I've never seen this before, but I could be wrong. NL. It says NL. Oh, that's not, an, that's not English. That's not English. What is that? Netherlands? I think that's Netherlands. Okay. This is Dutch, too, then. Netherlands is Dutch, right? I think so. 
this is not English. Why do they do that? Why do they have the front in English, but the back is in like French? Actually, that's not even just French, that's Belgium, which, which is French, but it just, no, no, what does that say? It says, that's not, that's not French either. What the fuck language is that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's not English is the point. <laughs> All right, let's open it up. Take a smell. My guess is this, ooh, wow, that's peppery. Ooh. Oh, that, there's paprika in that. There's paprika in that. That smells very distinctly like paprika. Interesting, because I thought this was gonna be like um, sun chips. You know those sun chips? Um, the, the tomato sun chips? That's what I, th I thought, the tomato and herbs. That's what I thought this was gonna be like, but this smells very distinctly like paprika. Mm. That's true. That's true, I didn't catch that. The OU, that's how I spell flavor. I spell flavor like that. I write in the Queen's English because it makes me feel like a fancy bitch. I've written in the Queen's English since high school and I never stopped. So I do O-U, I do R-E instead of E-R. I do all that extra shit. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a thi it's a thick crisp. They're like thick like, um. that's not bad. The flavor leaves me wanting a little bit. It's a very thick crisp. It's like thick, like a, oh, what are those things? Like a Triscuits? But it's not like, it's, 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 it's thick like a Triscuit would be, but it's not like fibery like a Triscuit. I'm gonna look it up to Triscuit. I forgot what a Triscuit looks like. Yeah, it's it's thick like a, a Triscuit, but it's not like like f like fibery like that, but it's, it's, it's this thick though. It's very thick. It's not bad, but the flavor, it just leaves me wanting. It's such a thick cracker. It's a cracker, by the way, it's a cracker. It's such a thick cracker that it doesn't seem like it has enough flavor to justify it. This is gonna like fill me up. Um, it's not, it's nothing spectacular. It's, it's good, I mean, it's okay. It's just not spectacular. Like the flavor is not jumping out at me. It's funny, it smelled so much like paprika and I actually didn't taste any paprika in that bite. Um, it's an okay flavor. I would, eat, I would eat a whole bag of it. It's not amazing, but I would, I would put this in B tier. I would put this in B tier. Yeah, that's not bad. Hmm. It's a biscuit, that's true. Well, biscuits, my definition of biscuits are fluffy and ba fresh baked. I'm not British. I just write like I'm British. <laughs> mm. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, but it's not it's not anything amazing. Okay. What's next? Oh my god, I think this is one of the hot ones. Ah oh, shit. Oh, oh no. Okay. Check out this bag. This one. This is it. It's perfect with beer, which I'm not drinking beer, I'm drinking it truly. Um, it says it's medium. It's only one jalapeno hot, but it still has the fire. And it says it's strong. <laughs> so I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Hell yeah. Like a cerveza, like a, it'd be good with like a, 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 cer a what is it, um, a, a Corona. All right, let's give it a smell. Okay. The lime comes through very strongly in the smell. It's very strong lime. Okay, spice is there too. The inside of the bag is very, very oily, interestingly. Like if I put my finger in there, like it's gonna be covered in oil. Okay, they're ruffle chips. Okay, they're thick ruffle chips, Jesus Christ. These are, they, they did not, cheap you out like these motherfuckers are thick okay let's go let's go let's see let's try it mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. ah! that's a good chip that's a good chip oh my god where's this from it looks like this is also dutch oh that's a good chip oh God damn! Bitch, that's S tier! Honey, that's S tier! Get up there! 
Get the fuck out there. That's a good chip. I don't even need to taste it again. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep eating that. Holy shit, that was S tier. Damn, that's 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 staying out with me. That was good. Holy shit. It's not very spicy. It's not very spicy at all. Um, it's it's like a very the slightest 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 hint of spice. Oh my god. It's probably of all of the spicy ones in here, it's the least spicy one. It's it's one level above not spicy at all. Um, but I don't mind it because the flavor is really fucking good. Holy shit, that's a really good chip. Okay, recommend, recommend. All right, let's try the next one. All right, next one is, ooh, this is a pretty bag. It's very metallic and purple. Um, it looks like another Chinese one. Roasted cumin lamb skewer. All right, let's take a look at this. It looks like, and I might be wrong when we open it up, but it looks like the texture of the chip might be Pringles again. But I don't think that might, I, I'm actually thinking that might not be the case because the, it's actually got a picture of a, my, my bag has a picture of a potato being sliced. So I don't think it's got the Pringles flavor or the, the Pringles texture. Um, this looks like it's also Chinese. It's very nice, pretty bag. It's beautiful purple. You got the picture of the, of the skewers down below. They look pretty good. I'm seeing spice come off of them. So this, this might be spicy. Let's, let's open it up. What? Oh man, these ones are so hard to open. There we go. Let's give it a smell. Oh, that doesn't smell good. Ooh, ooh, that was bad. That was a bad smell. That was not a good smell. That was not a good smell. It smells, it, sm it smells like meat, maybe cumin. I don't eat a lot of cumin, so I don't know if that's what cumin smells like. It does not smell good. It does not smell good. It smells not like something roasted, like a roasted meat, but it's not pleasant. It's very, it's a little bit fishy even. Um, let me pull out a chip. They're okay, you know, these are chips. They're not Pringles. They're not Pringles like chips. These are like actual chips. Let's just fucking give it a taste then. I don't know. I do not like that smell. That smell was not very, very appetizing. Mm. Oh my God, it really just tastes like meat. Ooh, that's pretty good. It tastes like meat. What? How do they make a chip? Tastes like I just took a bite out of lamb. They nailed this fucking flavor. Holy shit, it tastes like fucking lamb. That's crazy. Hell yes, yeah, sinner. We're about, I think, not less than halfway through our chips so far. There's been some really good fucking chips in here. This is a really fucking good chip. I don't like the smell. I don't like the smell. The smell is awful. It's, it's awful. And I actually really, even now that I'm like letting it sit in my mouth a little bit more, I don't know if I would be able to eat a whole bag of it because it's a little bit rich. It definitely tastes like meat though. They really nailed the flavor. That's why I want to score it high because it tastes like fucking roasted lamb. Like what the fuck? I want to just, I want to send samples to you guys so you can taste it. Like it tastes like a fuck. If you get a chance to taste this fucking thing, like go ahead and buy it off of the, on, off of the Wii website. It's going to shock you because it really fucking tastes like lamb. That is crazy as shit. Um, I, I mean, it's not the flavor. I, I don't love the flavor for a chip, but I just, they nailed it. I just can't believe how much they nailed it. I'm going to give it B tier because it's not a chip that I would eat all the way. But the flavor, they really fucking nailed it. Like, oh my God, damn. I didn't have my boyfriend taste that. That's actually kind of insane. That's like, that's, that's kind of incredible. All right, next one. All right, we're getting into the bigger chip bags. Some of these bags, I accidentally got the family size. I didn't mean to. Um, <laughs> the next one is salt and pepper, salt and pepper. So this will, this will be pretty, pretty, you know, chill, pretty expected. I think this is another Dutch one. It looks Dutch to me. Yeah. Salt and pepper. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I guess I'm just going to get right into it. Smell it. Ooh, it smells very peppery. Um, it's funny, I look inside, I'm actually not seeing black speckles. So I wonder if they used white pepper instead of black pepper. It definitely smells peppery. I don't even smell, there's like, I don't know if, if you can smell salt, but I mean, it's just extremely strong pepper smell um, when you open the bag. I really don't see any black speckles at all. At all. Maybe like the tiny, and like this might, if there's pepper in this, it's gotta be the most finely grained pepper uh, in the world because it's just, they're so small. All right, let's go ahead and taste it. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, you can taste the pepper. Pepper is not a flavor that should be on chips. 
like black pepper. This is not a flavor that you get on chips. Mm mm. Mm mm. I don't like that. I don't want to swallow it. I don't want to swallow it. I think this might be F tier. I'm going to spread this out. I don't like that. Ew. I didn't like that at all. That's going to the trash. Nope. That was F tier. Wow. I thought you couldn't fuck that up. I'm kind of surprised that they fucked that up. It's salt and pepper. How do you fuck salt and pepper up? That's like, it's the fundamental. I need a, I need a, wow, I need a palate cleanser. Oh God, that was really nasty. That was a really disgusting flavor. Wow, okay. Well, <laughs> now we know, salt and pepper chips, not good. Next one. Okay, I'm really, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, it's another strong one, but it's jalapeno and cheese. And motherfucker, is three jalapenos. It's three chilies hot. It's three chilies hot. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The last one was so good. So I'm like, I'm, I'm hoping the flavor is good, but it, I think it's going to be too hot. Oh, my God. I'm scared. Okay, I'm going to open it. We're going to smell it. Let's see if the smell knocks me on my ass. Let me go back, open it back up. Where'd it go? There it go. Right. No, that's the wrong one. Did I delete it? I might have deleted it. I sure did. All right, let's smell it. Ooh. Ooh, that's peppery. It, sm it smells like queso. It smells like hot chili, hot jalapeno queso. It's not bad. It really just smells like queso, the, it's, which is jalapeno and cheese, so that makes sense. It's really good. It smells, it smells so good. It's just, okay, I can tell it's gonna be hot though. I can tell it's gonna be hot. I'm so scared. Okay. These are, these are pretty much queso chips. This is gonna be good. I, I think this is gonna be delicious. Ooh, shit, how hot is this gonna be? Okay. Bottoms up. Mm hmm. Mmm. They're queso chips. Ooh, and they're so spicy. Ooh, honey, they're spicy. It tastes exactly like queso. Okay, this the strong, lay strong, is bueno. This is bueno. It's, it tastes like queso. It's like if you took a normal Lay's and just dipped it in queso. That's good as fuck. That's also S tier. And it's not as spicy as I thought it was gonna be. It's not as spicy as I thought it was gonna be. I think this one had the most lingering spice. Um, but I, I think this was spicier than that one. And this flavor is better because it's fucking queso and you cannot, you literally can't fuck up queso. It's cheese and peppers. Like, you cannot fuck up chase queso. Like, come on now. All right, next one. That was a good chip. I think this one was better. I'm actually gonna knock it down because it was a great flavor, but this one was better. It was a great flavor. I don't think it's S tier. I think it's on the, I think it's A tier. It's, it's one that I can continue eating. But I don't think it's S tier. I don't think it's S tier. So I'm gonna put that in the box. I'm pretty much keeping next to me all of the S tier ones so that I can munch on them while we play Apex tonight. A chocolate coated chip. I've seen that before. I've seen that before. Chocolate Lay's. I've seen that before. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Although I don't, yeah, yeah, they are chocolate coated. Yep, 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 yep. No, 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 no. Are these actually, yeah, they are, they are. I knew I fucking saw that before. I think this came out in like the early 2000s. I knew I fucking heard of that before because I was like, that that sounds really familiar right there. That shit right there. All right, the next one is an oven baked crunchy, another one. So it's gonna be a thick, a thick biscuit, a thickums, a thickum, thickums biscuit. Uh, it's paprika and Mediterranean herbs, which is funny because the last one smelled very much like paprika. So I'm wondering if this one's just gonna blow my face off with paprika smell. Let's give it a smell. Let's open that up. Funny enough, okay, it still smells like paprika, but there's a sweetness. There's another set of flavors there that's sweet. It's very sweet, the smell. Um, let's, pop, let's pop one of these bad boys in, let's go. Mm-hmm. Just like last time, it's a pleasant flavor, but it's just not enough flavor for how thick the chip is. It's a very thick chip. This is like something you need to like dip in sauce. Like you need to dip this in like artichoke dip or something. I would put it on the same level. I would put this in B, B tier. It's still good. It's good, but it's just, it's just, but you need to dip, you need to dip that in something. 
You need to dip that in dip. It would actually do really well with artichoke dip, I think. Like, specifically artichoke dip, I think, would be hitting with that shit. Like, oh my god. Okay. We're almost done, y'all. Got what? Nine, ten, ten bags left? Let's go. Okay, let me take another sip, you. That's not bad. All right. The next one. Ooh, okay. Uh, whew, any guesses on what this might be? I'll give you a hint. It's fish related. It's hot chili squid. <laughs> oh, is this another Thai one? It's, it's also from Thailand. Um, it kind of, the, the chip sizes look too uniform to me to be natural cut from a potato. I think these actually might be like Pringles style, but they're ruffles. That's interesting. You think that's a good flavor combo? Ooh, for chips though? Like, we'll see. Ooh, let's open it up. Give it a smell. I feel my belly all like hot from all the spicy chips we've had. I feel burning in my belly. Is that bad? We're going to have like explosive diarrhea later. I hope not. That didn't smell good. Ah! <laughs> that didn't smell good. It smells like fish. It smells fucking fishy. They're definitely cut from potatoes. They're not Pringles style. That's why I pick out a big one, man. I picked out a big chip. God damn it. That was not a good smell, y'all. I'm not looking forward to eating this chip. Let's try it. Honestly, it tastes like this. It, it tastes like exactly like um, the roasted fish flavor, fish flavor, except not spicy. The roasted fish flavor also tasted like this. It's like it's those fish flakes. It's the Japanese. Let me look them up again. If you've ever had these Japanese dried fish flakes, if you've ever had these, I've had I've eaten these before. It tastes exactly like these. It's sweet. It's like a sweet flavor. It's not one that I could eat a whole bag of. This is a small bag. I don't even think I could finish this bag because it's just too sweet. Um, it's not hot at all. There's no spice at all. Hey, Albi! Welcome, welcome. Bonito Flakes. Yep, that's what it is. It's Bonito Flakes. Dry Bonito Flakes. That's exactly what it is. Um, it tastes just like that. This, they're not bad. It's just it's, 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 it's a flavor I don't think I could eat a whole bag of. So I am going to put this on C tier. They're, they're not bad. The flavor is not bad, but it's not it's not good either. I don't know. Hell yeah. Happy to have you back. You picked a good a good time to come in. I know I'm almost done with the with the well, we'll do like a recap on these and, and talk about what each of these tasted like if I still remember. But I think I have a pretty good memory on what these taste like. I think I might even throw these in the trash. No, I'm not going to throw this in the trash. I want, to, I want my boyfriend to do it. I'm keeping these so like my boyfriend. I'm going to do this exact same uh, um, experiment with my boyfriend so he can taste it too. I want to see his reaction and see if he reacts the same way. I've only thrown away one of them. There's only one. It's the salt and pepper chips. That was the only one that was so nasty that I spit it out and I threw it away. <laughs> All right, the next one is mm -mm -mm, Mamma Mia's Cheese and Paprika. So these are like Takis. They're like uh, noodle shaped. So I guess they're like Takis. Let's open them up. This is, wait, let's look at it where it's from. It's from. It's also Dutch. There's a lot of these that are just straight up Dutch. Okay. But so, for some reason have English as their bag. <laughs> I don't know. They look like noodles. They look like long, they look like long um, macaroni noodles. Like, you know, like Kraft macaroni. Y'all know how, like, what Kraft macaroni looks like where their noodles are like skinny and long and they're tubes. They're like, if you, if you would cut those, like if you like put like, Eight, eight or nine of those together into a long tube. That's what they fucking look like. They literally do. The smell is fine. It smells, it smells processed a little bit. It like doesn't really smell like potatoes. It doesn't smell like potatoes. Maybe, I don't really, I'm not really catching the paprika like I did in that other chip. Um, honestly, they look pretty lightly seasoned. They don't look like there's very much seasoning on them at all. I'm going to take one. I'm going to taste one and see. Mm -hmm. and they're very thick noodles. There's not much flavor. There's not much flavor. I don't taste. Let me actually take one and just lick the flavor off of it because I'm not getting any fucking flavor. 
Mm. Yeah. There's like no flavor to this, man. It's like just a generic tube of bread. <laughs> I don't know. It tastes like salt, salted, salted bread. They're not, they're not very good. I'm going to put this in detail. They're not so gross that I would spit it out, but I mean, they're, they're not, there's not much really going on here, you know? It's not that great. Okay. I actually just threw that away because I'm just like, it's like, they're not bad, but they don't taste like anything really. Okay. All right, next one. Ooh, here we go. All right, this one is hot chicken wings. This is hot chicken wings. This is this one. It's got two chilies. Two chilies on the hotness scale. Excuse me, my, my expectations are pretty high for this because the other two were pretty high. So I'm, I'm, I've got pretty high expectations here. Um, let's, yes, yeah, let's open, let's open this bad boy up. Let's go. Okay, so smelling it, I'm not smelling any spice. It doesn't smell like spice, it just smells like potatoes. It smells like potato chips. It's less greasy than the other ones are. Maybe that grease was where all the spice was coming from. It doesn't smell spicy in any fucking way. Uh, it doesn't smell like chicken either. It doesn't smell like chicken either. All right, let's go. Let's, let's taste one. Let's grab one out. I'm having trouble picking one out for some reason. Okay, there we go. I found one. All right, it's ruffle chips. Looking at the spice on it, it's good. It's good, a good distribution of spice. There's good distribution of spice. There's not like overly spiced ones and under spiced ones. They're, they're very good, evenly distributed. So let's see, let's taste it. Oh, it does taste like chicken a little bit. It doesn't taste like hot chicken. There's no spice in any fucking way. It does taste like chicken. Yeah, shit, it tastes like chicken. I don't love it. The chicken flavor really is pronounced. It's not uh, It's not overwhelming and it's not unpleasant, but it's just chicken, it's they're chicken chips. It's just like an odd choice to flavored chips like chicken. Because chicken is a very bland poultry. It's bl bland meat. Um, I'm not saying, these aren't bland, they're spiced, but it's just an odd choice. I would put this in C tier. They're not, th they're not, it's not something I, it's not something that's very good. I actually might even put these in D tier, actually. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I don't love the flavor. I don't love the flavor. I don't love it. It's not disgusting. But it's, it's, I do not love that flavor. Interesting. I had high hopes. I had high hopes. You guys saw the other two were so good, but that one was not very good. It's got a little bit of spice. Now that I'm getting, like, the aftertaste, it has a very slight spice. I would say... Because it's funny, because that was two jalapenos. This one was one jalapeno, and I think this one was spicier. So that's interesting. It's, 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 it's an aftertaste of spice that's there, but it do, it's, it's, it's a shame that it's not at the front of the palate like the other ones are, because that's why I think that's what the strength of the other two, is that the spice is so, is so it's at the front of the palate. It's, it's right in your face, and it's really good, and it's very, it's very good. The next one, hamkas. Hamkas, whatever this is. So they're just like, shaped like honeycombs a little bit. I don't know. It's a really big bag because they did not have smaller bags than this. So sadly, if this is nasty, we're true. Oh! Oh! That does not smell good. That, I didn't even have to stick my nose in it. It just like, it's, it, it was like a, a heat seeking missile. It was like a heat seeking missile and it hit my nose as soon as I opened the bag. That does not smell good. My God, that smells like asshole. That smells like the inside of someone's asshole. Oh my God, I, I stuck my nose in it. Why did I do that? Whew, that does not smell good. Okay, let me just ooh, bite the bullet, just, just taste it. That does not smell good. Ham and cheese, ooh, it definitely looks cheesy. It's like neon yellow. These chips are like neon fucking yellow. It's like fucking like, uh, like Cheetos almost. Like they are so fucking yellow. Let's give it a taste. That's the worst one. That's the worst one. Um, I'm wearing. Uh, uh. I had to rinse my mouth out. I had to rinse my mouth out. Ah, uh, trash. Trash. Get, get that shit out of here. Get out of here. I need a new. 
I need a new uh, tier, super F, because that was the worst fucking one. I had to, I had to actually like take a sip of. I'm gonna wear. Ugh. I had to rinse my mouth out twice. That's disgusting. Oh my god, that was gross. Let me take a sip of Truly too. Oh my god. Get that fucking flavor out of my mouth. How do I describe that flavor? How would I describe that flavor? It did not taste like ham, nor did it taste like cheese. It was so unpleasant. Like, like, like just nasty ass fish. It tasted fishy. It was not good. Thank you for the sub, Bobby. That was un that was disgusting, bro. I'm very, very happy that I tasted that. So if you guys ever visit, visit the Netherlands, you don't fucking uh, taste that fucking disgusting shit. Okay, let's go. Next one. <laughs> okay, this is exciting. This one is promising. This one is promising. Let me see the... F okay, this one's also Dutch. This one is roasted chicken flavor. Okay, I don't know. It's promising because it's like the classic look for Lay's. This looks like a classic look for Lay's. But... We just had a chicken flavor, one that wasn't very good. So I'm a little scared. I don't know. Maybe it won't be gross. Let's find out. Let's, let's see. Okay, this smells a lot more like chicken to the nose than the other one did. It's got, like, a pungency to it that isn't super... It's not super appetizing. It smells a little bit like a fart. It smells a little bit like a fart. Like a chicken flavored fart. I don't know. Let me, oof. I'm not looking forward to this. Okay. I, I was, I was a lot more enthusiastic like 30 seconds ago. Um, okay. Let me taste. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh-uh. It's stuck in my teeth, too. Oh, hell no. Uh. It tastes like roast chicken. Not a good flavor for for chips. It tasted like roast chicken. I, I tasted rosemary. I tasted rosemary and thyme. And I guess what you would call chicken, but... It, that was not good. That wasn't good. It wasn't as repulsive as this was, but it was not good. That was not good. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have my boyfriend taste that. <laughs> I want him to taste that. Um, all right, next one. Got about five of these left. There's a mystery one because I don't know what flavor it is. It's, 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 it's totally in a different language. I have no fucking idea what flavor it is, so it's gonna be the last one we taste. Patatje, patatje Joppy. My guess, mustard. I think this is mustard flavor. Just looking at this, look at this image, and there's there's even more of a clear image on the bag. It's in my hand. I think this is mustard flavored chips, which sounds gross. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. It's also Dutch. Let's give that a little smelly smell. Doesn't smell like mustard. I smell a spice in there. Excuse me. Maybe it is mustard. That does smell like mustard. That smells like mustard. That's mustard. I think that's mustard. Let me try it. Let me try one. I don't like mustard like that, but let's let's find out. Let's let's find out. Let's see what's up with this. Huh? It's very neon yellow, so I think it definitely is mustard. Oh, joppy sauce. Is that is joppy sauce a thing? I don't know. I don't know what joppy sauce is. Let's try it. It tastes like sweet mustard. It's not bad. I think it's a bit too strong of a flavor for a whole bag of chips. I don't think I could eat a lot of these. It just tastes like sweet mustard, though. It's, it's not bad. I would put this in C tier. It's not gross, but it's, it's, it's the, the flavor is just a little too strong for a big ass fucking thing of chips like this. I wonder if my boyfriend would like these because I, I don't want to waste it. I don't want to throw it out because it's not a bad chip, but it's just not that great either. I don't know. 
Joppy sauce. Anybody know what joppy sauce is? Okay, here we go. So it looks like mustard. It's oh, okay. It's mayo, curry, onion, salt, pepper. Maybe curry is the flavor I was seeing. It definitely tasted like a sweet mustard. So it's just curry. It's curry flavored chip. It wasn't bad. It was not bad. I can't put it in B tier because I wouldn't eat much more than I already tasted, but it was not a bad chip. It was not bad. Okay. Next one. All right, next one. We got a lot of paprika flavors here. Here's one. Don't like the, I don't like the aftertaste on that chip. Oh, the aftertaste wasn't great. All right, paprika flavor. Here we go. Also Dutch. Let's see. Doesn't want to open. There we go. Okay. Holy shit, these are red. Oh my god. They're very, oh, it's a really pleasant smell. Oh, that's a really pleasant smell. It's not necessarily paprika smelling. It almost, it almost smells like, um, this is gonna be weird. It smells like graham crackers. It, sm <laughs> it smells like graham crackers. That's such a pleasant smell. I really like that smell. It's not very overwhelming, but I'm not gonna lie though. These chips are red as shit. I kind of think they're gonna be spicy as fuck. They look like they like spray painted them red. They are so red. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, let's grab one out. Let's grab one out. We're gonna taste, taste that one. Okay. This one has a lot of, these have a lot of spice on them. Like they, they are paprika up in this bitch. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> hey, Angel. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're actually pretty deep into this. There's only like five or six left. Very interesting flavors in here. Some very disgusting, but some very surprisingly delicious. So I'm, I'm pretty, we're having this, this paprika one. Let's, let's see how I feel it. I'm going to taste it. Let's go. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, my God. Bitch, that's good. What? Oh my God, that is so good. It tastes like, it tastes kind of like the American barbecue chips. That's an S tier, 100%, that's an S tier. Holy shit, that is good. Paprika flavor, got it. I'm so happy I have a big, a big thing of it too, because I'm about to just munch on this shit for the next few days. I have like a big ass family size one of it too. That is super good, holy shit. That was tasty. Hey, Soleil, welcome, welcome. We only have four more chips to go. Um, damn, I am so happy there were some really good ones in here. God damn. Hell yes. Absolutely. No, this is fun. I'm, I like these taste challenges. It's This is a fun one. We're gonna do, we're gonna keep doing this. I think I'll do this once a month. I think I'll do this once a month. Hey, baby, I love you. Okay, all right, all right, last, next one, next three. Okay, these three are pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited about these. All right, this next one is bolognese. Bolognese flavor which is a pasta sauce. Um, okay. It's very big. These are these last three bags are just huge. I could, they did not have small bags of these, so I feel really bad about wasting them. Um, let's open this up and give it a smelly smell. Okay, this the smell's not as pleasant as the last one. I smell pepper. I smell a lot of pepper in this. I can see the pepper. I'm looking at the chips. There's a lot of pepper in here which we do, we already know how the last peppery chip fucking turned out, so I'm not enthusiastic. I really just smell pepper. <laughs> Black pepper is all I smell when I smell this bag. Um, oh, it's not pepper that I'm seeing. It's like, it's a, it's a green. Maybe it's uh, basil? It, smell, it smells like fucking pepper. All right, let's, let's taste it. Mm-hmm. Underwhelming. Underwhelming. Not really tasting much. I've had bolognese before. This doesn't taste like bolognese. This is just underwhelming. Can I get another one? Let me find one that has like a lot of seasoning on it. A, a lot of seasoning on it. There we go. This, this one has a lot. Okay, let's try that again. Bolognese? Let's touch my mouth. Oh, okay. I'm doing it all French. I mean, it's not a bad chip. It's just like the flavor dissipates so quickly. It's like you're just eating a potato chip. I. That's a shame. I, I think I'm gonna put this C tier. I wouldn't put it D tier because it's not nasty. It just doesn't taste like much. Yeah, that's a shame. 
Because bolognese is like, bolognese is, it, it, it's, it's, that's, that's a really flavorful pasta sauce. Like, I, that's a shame. Wow, I am super disappointed in that. Wow. At least it's not nasty. It really could, it could have been nasty. So at least it's not nasty. It's just not great either. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to do pickle chips. No, I'm going to leave pickle for last. I'm going to leave pickle for last because I feel like I'm going to hate it. And that's going to be a funny one to leave for last. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Oh, yeah. All right. Tomato ketchup. It's Heinz. It's specifically, they name dropped. They name dropped the ketchup. It's Heinz ketchup. So, so you know that. I know what Heinz tastes like. I know what that tastes like. Yes, the roasted chip. No, yeah, yeah. The roasted chicken chip was nasty. That was nasty. I had to spit that shit out. It was disgusting. It tasted like roasted chicken, but that is not a flavor that be belongs on chips. That was not good. Okay, it smells. Okay, I'm smelling it. It smells like ketchup. That smells like ketchup. It's actually like pretty hitting my nose pretty sharply. Like it's not. It's not an unpleasant smell, but it's very pungent. That's ketchup. Let's try. Let's see. It. It's funny, but the chips are not very red. I thought the chips were gonna be like overly red. They chose like the biggest potatoes for these chips. These chips are huge. Holy shit. These chips, they, they, like they did not have to choose potatoes this big. All right, let's taste one. There we go. Mm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It tastes like ketchup, but it's got like a, a vinegariness to it, like salt and vinegar chips. It is a pleasant chip. If you like salt and vinegar chips, you you really you really might like this chip. It tastes like ketchup, but the vinegariness makes it a chip. If that makes sense, I don't know. It's it makes it work. I don't know if this is something that I would snack on a lot. I might put this B tier. It's a it's a, it's it's, a, it's an okay flavor. I don't mind it. It's not something that I would like snack on at a party. Um, but it's not bad actually. I wouldn't. I would recommend this chip. I would recommend anybody try this chip. This is not a bad chip. Damn. Yeah. Shit. I'm. We are missing out on ketchup chips. I was like, holy shit. They sell this in Canada, don't they? They do ketchup chips in Canada. That's a Canadian thing. I don't know about pickle chips though. I don't know. That's next. <laughs> That's what we're about to have next. This is the second to last one, y'all. Pickle chips. I don't like pickles. I don't like pickles. So I'm pretty skeptical about this. So let's see how, how this goes. I don't fucking like pickles, man. Let me look at just show you guys the bag. Oh, sorry. I didn't even show you this one. So the ketchup was this one. This is ketchup chips. It does not look like that, by the way. Like, these ketchup chips look red as hell. They did not look like that. They just look like normal potato chips. Um, this is how I imagine them to look like, and they, they did not look like that. All right, here's the last one. Pickle chips. Mm-hmm. I'm not looking forward to this shit. Okay, uh, smell it first. Okay. It smells vinegary. Like, it's almost, it almost burns my nose with how vinegary they smell. Yeah, it smells very, very deep with vinegar. Let's, uh, the chips look normal enough. They actually almost look a little green. Oh, let's give it a taste. I'm not tasting pickle. They taste like vinegar chips. They taste like salt and vinegar chips, but worse. Like worse in that they're just less flavorful. Wow. More disappointed in anything. I, they don't taste bad. It's just they're not particularly remarkable either. I would put them below ketchup chips. I don't. I don't think they're bad. I won't put them in D tier, but they're just not. They're they're pretty unremarkable actually. Damn. Well, at least they weren't disgusting. I was expecting them to be da be, na be nasty as shit, but they weren't. So that's good. That's good. All right, last one. This is the mystery. I don't know. Let me see if we can find out what this one is. Let's see. So I'm gonna describe the bag. Lay's chip koi. There's like a koi on it. Oh, did we I just found it. I just found it. Hold up. It's this one. Okay, that's gross. It's pickled fish flavor. Ew. Ew! Why did I leave this for last? 
Why did I leave this for last? This is gonna be gross. This is gonna be gross. Okay, let me just clear my palette. This is the one, okay. Oh, okay. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I could have had this one first. I could have made this one the first one. This is also Chinese. Oh my God, that stinks. Ah. Ooh. Oh, that is not a good smell, man. Uh, this is how I thought the pickles were gonna smell. This is how I thought the pickles were gonna be. I thought this was the, the pickle chips were gonna smell. Ugh. Ugh. I don't wanna fucking taste this shit. Okay, let's see. They're so pale. The chips, when you take it out, like, it's such a pale chip. Why the fuck did I, if I, I have my good chips next to me. I'm gonna eat one of the good chips after this, just to, just to reward myself, because I think this is gonna be disgusting. Mm. Okay. It's okay. It's not. It's not something that spit out. Excuse me. It does taste fishy. Okay, the flavor's not that bad. <laughs> the flavor's actually not that bad. It smells like Dookie balls. The flavor ain't bad. Okay, it's a little bad. The aftertaste isn't good. I think you're right, V. I, I think these are. I think this is D tier. That's D tier. Yeah, that wasn't good. That was not a good chip. God damn. Okay. Well, here is our definitive list of chips, of all 25 chips that I tasted. The standouts, actually pretty fucking unexpected too. I did not think these would taste this good. The sweet basil was very good. It was very sweet, but it had it had heat behind it. It had a very pleasant heat, which I thought was delicious. Um, and it was just a really good chip. The Mexican peppers and cream basically were sour cream chips. And that sounds nasty. They were good, bro. Those were fucking good. I was like, damn. Honestly, what you could do, you could dip those in like some sauce or something or some dip, and they would taste exactly like sour cream and onion chips. Like if you smelled the bag, they, they smelled exactly like sour cream and onion chips. They're sour cream chips. They're sour cream chips. That was a really good chip. The chili and lime were bueno. Bueno, holy shit. They had the right amount of heat. It had, it had a good amount of heat behind it, but it wasn't overwhelming. It wasn't overpowering. The lime flavor really fucking came through. It was a good fucking chip. I could eat the fuck out of those things. Um, and the paprika flavor was actually also really fucking tasty. I, I was so shocked because we had like three other paprika flavors that were not good. Um, these three were like good. They weren't S tier. They weren't like nothing to rave about. Like, but they were good chips. Like, these are chips that you could, you could eat these chips. You could eat these fucking chips. These are their chips. The B-tier chips were the ones that were like, the flavor was okay, but it wasn't anything to, it wasn't anything that I would be able to like eat a whole bag of, right? Like, it, it, they were, the flavor, it had a good flavor, but I wouldn't be able to eat the whole bag. The C-tier were kind of disappointments. They weren't nasty, but they were just disappointing. Um, maybe the flavor wasn't what the, it advertised to be or maybe the flavor really wasn't there at all like it was just it was it was a chip d tier was pretty nasty but it wasn't so disgusting i had to spit the thing out whereas f tier i spit them shits out i spit it out in fact this hamka's one i like i fucking rinse my mouth out twice like that was the most disgusting thing i put in my mouth all fucking day so this is my definitive tearing of the lays chips that we had pretty pretty happy about this pretty happy about this uh this uh yeah yeah i'm going to i'm going to post that on twitter now let's play